Jeremy Oliver here sitting uh, with a frosty with uh, Jeremy Muller, the proprietor of Picavi at Margaret River in Margaret River and WA. And we have uh, been walking around in quite a hot day, but nowhere near as hot a series of conditions as you've experienced over the last couple of months or so. Jeremy, tell us about the, the lead up to the 2024 vintage here. Yeah, we had a very, like a couple of days ago, we had a tiny amount of rain like for a few minutes but otherwise we've not had any significant rainfall now for probably five six months which is unheard of really down here it's been dry and hot like we you know we normally count the number of days over 25 this year you can count the number of days over 40 wow. which and for down here is you know it's just crazy it's yeah. like you know we, we, we've had days over that temperature where multiple days like weeks on end over 30 which is so unusual for here Mm. And so what's happened is we've now, we've bought everything forward. It's like, you know, some people were picking, I heard stories of people picking in January, you know, which is insane. We, we will probably have all of our reds off in February. We, we're normally picking in April. Yeah. So it's just so, so different, but it comes down to what you're trying to get, you know, in the vines, you need to try and find ways to sort of then get the flavors going through. Mm. But yeah, it's the, the vine is looking good in fairness. You know, if, as long as you, and you're not afraid to get rid of the, you know, the raisiny stuff. But this is a game where you need to have the right sorting equipment and everything like that. So yeah, yeah. You know, as you've got the right equipment and you've got the right stuff, you can you can just keep what you need, the best, which means you're going to have a lower yielding year. But by, by being selected by what you take, you're going to probably lose 30%. But what you're left with is going to be amazing. Yeah. So it could be, and you know, for reds, an incredible year. White's looking good, actually. Whites are looking good. But for the reds, it's um, it's going to be interesting. It's, it depends on how much of a haircut you're willing to take on the things, and then we, what you get from there. Wow, wow. So um, it's been interesting because over in the east, we've had our fifth relatively cool season in a row, and then you you know from uh, 2020, um, 2017 was also cool out east. So, um, but the weather systems that you're talking about that might cause this we've, we've been strongly influenced i think by you know cyclone activity um, in north queensland and so forth which has had a sort of reverse effect lots of cloud our way and cool days so um just a reminder of how big a continent australia is and that there is a difference between the weather and climate oh and, uh, this is a, i don't think this is an indication of climate i think this uh, vintage over here is very much a an indication of the, the ability of a continent as dry and as arid and as remote as Australia to, to change its weather dramatically from season to season. So, but as Jeremy's saying, the smart growers with the ability to say, take a bit of a haircut um, in terms of yield uh, could deliver some exceptional quality. So we're looking forward to seeing, Jeremy, your results from 2024 yeah. in the bottle. Yeah. Thanks for that. Cheers.